So, tomorrow we are leaving. We're flying to Cape Town. And this is going to be the longest travel adventure that we've had so far. But we have to pack all of our stuff, which is giving me anxiety it's because me anxiety. <laughs> we're also going from like winter to summer because it's summertime on the southern part of the hemisphere. So there's a lot of arguing going on as to what we need to take and what we don't need it, to take. It's not arguing. It's it's a constructive <laughs> criticism, constructive conversation. This is my thing. We're going to Cape Town for three months, I understand, but then after that, we're going back to Europe and we might need some of our warmer clothes for like early springtime. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a process. It's... <laughs> Currently, we are in my parents' home in Vilichka, Poland. This is literally all of our shit everywhere. My mom would probably murder me showing this footage, but this is real life, a full-time living. We have more laundry here. Say hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Oh, God. More freaking stuff here. We have more of our things here. Dear Lord. And then... There's a second bedroom too that has even other more stuff in here as well. Oh, oh, and then on top of it too, not gonna lie, I am very high maintenance when it comes to toiletries, so there's just a bunch of other more things that need to be packed. So let's see how we actually fit all of this in because Nick and I will each have a backpack each and then two check bags. And if we're being real, my stuff is probably taking up, I'd say 65% of all of those bags, but I have a great husband who, you know, shares space with me. So thanks, babe. Yeah. He loves So we made it to Cape Town. Our flight was probably the longest flight that I've ever taken. Um, Anna slept a little bit during it, but I stayed awake for the majority of it. How did you feel getting off the plane? I was very exhausted. Well, I think it was like a long like travel. Like it was only, was it two planes? Yeah. Because we flew from um, Krakow, Poland to Amsterdam and then Amsterdam to Cape Town. Um, but. Our, six, our first flight was at like 6 a.m. So we had to like get up at like 3 a.m. and like leave for the airport. It was pretty snowy still when we were leaving Poland. So I think we left in perfect timing of trying to get rid of the winter and then come down here south for the summertime. But then the flight from Amsterdam was just like long. It was weird because it wasn't like an overnight flight. And like we were still pretty much in like, like the same time kind zone. of in the same time yeah. zone like an hour or two difference um but then like by the time we landed it was midnight and then by the time we got the car it was like 1 a.m and then by the time we like checked into the airbnb it was like almost 2 a.m so it was like almost 24 hours of travel time yeah. so it was pretty exhausting also after traveling for almost an entire day we still had to figure out how to drive when we got there <laughs> Yeah, it was like, we landed, it was pitch black, and then it was like, okay, now try to drive opposite of what you're used to your whole entire life. Yeah. Um, so you are on the opposite side of the car. Wrong side of the car. We so. are about to drive on the opposite side of the street, so you have to remember to be on the left-hand side of the street. Yeah, I'm definitely, uh, This is gonna be a mind f isn't it? Definitely a little nervous about this. It's gonna be okay. I trust you. This is gonna be our first time driving in South Africa. It's about midnight. We traveled for like 24 hours. Maybe why don't I just direct you if this isn't connecting? Just give me a second. Okay. okay. But 
here we are. Nick thankfully was able to get us home safely in one piece from the airport. And we basically came back, showered, went straight to bed, and then just started the adventure the next day. All right, so the last time you guys saw us was probably in this car, but that was about 12 hours ago. I did not continue filming because as we got on the road in Cape Town for the first time, it was like 2 a.m. and it was, it was pitch black and it was dark and I was trying not to stress Nick out because as we mentioned before, it looks like I'm in the driver's seat, I'm not. Nick is with the steering wheel on the right hand side of the car. So the opposite of what we're used to in Chicago. And we're driving on the left hand side of the road, which is also the opposite of what we have back home or anywhere else that we've driven before. So we've learned how to drive all over again. All over again. Even what was it, Nick, you were trying to use the turning signal. Uh, yeah, the turn signal and the wipers are on the opposite, opposite side. <laughs> so I was you know, constantly trying to signal where I'm going. I turn the windshield wipers on. So it's just learning, yep. learning experience. Right, <laughs> right now too, we're in our like parking garage where our apartment is and we basically have to drive up. I think it's like seven or eight, seven or eight floors up. So once we get on the road and it's actually daytime or well, when it's actually daylight outside, you guys can see a little bit more, but so far Nick's doing good in the parking garage. Are you worried about having to parallel park? Yes, definitely. I'm very good at it in Chicago, but I'm on the opposite side of the car and I'm not really sure how it's going to work. So. Yeah, like the mechanics of the car are the same, but you got to think of, I guess, yeah. Hey, at least this is in stick shift that I'm sure is very difficult for people like that are used to driving stick with their right hand and then they have to do it left-handed here. Yeah. So you're I turning, you're turn. turning left here. This is a turn. And then we're going straight for a bit. Like this is trippy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely a little bit of a trip. Uh, we'll be fine. First thing we did when we woke up the next day is we had um, an experience booked um, where we went to Boulders Beach in Simonstown. It was about 30 minutes drive from where we're staying in the city center, um, but we were really excited to do some kayaking and see some penguins. Anna, what are we doing today? Today we're gonna go kayaking with some penguins. Today we are with Shark Warrior Adventures. Come along and follow and let's see if we can buy some penguins. I don't think we could have picked a more beautiful day and after really being in colder temperatures for the last like three, three and a half months, it was really great to get back to the beach again. I'm really psyched for that. It was weird too, because I just kept on like being like, it's like December, like why is it so warm and sunny? So I think too, it's. It's been a nice surprise to actually escape the cold winters back home. Uh, we got to kayak with this, uh, this guy named Terry, who is a marine conservationist from Shark Warrior Adventures. Uh, he's really great and really passionate about marine life and marine conservation. I um, really learned quite a bit from him. Got a bit of a safety check before jumping in our kayaks and then hitting the water. It was good. Um, Nick and I have kayaked before. We've kayaked before in Greece, um, but I think, and where, where else did we kayak? We've kayaked somewhere else before too. Austin, and I broke my... Yeah, okay, let's, <laughs> not, re let's not let's not revisit that. <laughs> so we have kayaked together a couple of times before, and like for whatever reason, like we got into this kayak, and it was like, it was the first time Nick had ever kayaked in his life, and like, <laughs> If you really want to test your marriage and your communication skills, get together in a kayak and see how it goes if you can talk through it. So if in any of these clips you can see that we're like bickering is because... Or like our, our <laughs> strokes aren't lined up, it's because we... It's, I yeah. Kayak. <laughs> so it would be like me telling Nick to like pay attention to my paddles or like trying to like yell out left, right, left, right. <laughs> Um, I thought she was gonna then, kill me. Well, because then you're blaming it on me, and I'm like, dude, I can't see behind me, so we have to go at the same pace. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to test your marriage, get no kayak and see how it goes.
think the fun thing about kayaking with penguins is actually being able to see them from like a closer distance and not behind like an aquarium glass. Like that's the only time I think either of us have ever seen penguins is like at an aquarium obviously behind a piece of glass. So it was really cool to kind of see them in their element. I know it might seem weird too that they're like hanging out on beaches in Cape Town, but this is where they come. Um, and for the reason for some of them too, you might notice in some of the clips, they look like they're shedding feathers. The penguins go through a process called malting once a year where they come to land and they stay on land for like at least 21 days. I remember Terry was saying that it's like a really good diet, but he was like making a joke about it um, because they do basically like come to land for 21 days. They don't eat anything. So they're just sitting on like a rock or sitting on the beach and like their feathers will start to kind of shed um, and they need to replace new ones. They might like look different and like in different stages. So some might only have like patches of feathers coming out. Some might be like completely coming out. Um, but once that has happened, it's then they get like their waterproof coats and they can go back into the ocean. Um, but then the other reason too, why a lot of these beaches are gated off is for the penguins protection because while they're going through this molting process like yes it's cute and we really want to be close to penguins and everything but for their own safety we should not get close to them while they're molting because if we scare them or get too close to them and they jump back into the ocean um if they're still molting they might like die because the weight of their feathers can start to drown them <laughs> um so we don't want to do that so if you do ever come like just don't try to get too close for the penguins like you can obviously like look at them but from afar After that, we headed over to um, like a midway point at, at a beach where we took a, a little bit of a rest. Um, there's these little blue bottle jellyfish that could really easily get in the boat and sting you. I'm pretty sure, Anna, you got stung a few times. Um, well, so it wasn't until like afterwards because we saw them on the beach and like I'm pretty like you'll see a clip here of like what they like look like. But Terry was telling us like keep watching the kayak because the ca kayak has like some holes in it. Um, and like at one point I like looked down and I had like four floating <laughs> by my legs So I had to like quickly like scoop them out I didn't think I got stung at all But like later on when we got home, I noticed like on the top of my foot. It was like red and blotchy um, It wasn't bad uh, it was just like a little bit itchy like if anything like looked worse than it actually was nothing dangerous happened I think it just freaked me out more than anything <laughs> And then once we got back, there's a smaller beach called Seaforth Beach where we were by our starting point. Um, we were able to get really close to the penguins. There's like a little gate or a fence and we were able to get really close to them, which is really nice. Yeah, Terry said that like him and his team like actually put up that like fence. I don't remember if it was like it was recently, like within the last year or so he was saying, um, cause before it used to be like open, but then like too many people were getting like way too close to the penguins. So him and like others work on trying to obviously keep the penguins safe in Cape Town. Just a casual Tuesday <laughs> before we go back to work. We were able to paddle with the penguins today and hang out with them a little bit, so. Yeah, it's really nice. Casual Tuesday, no big deal. Work from home life, <laughs> work remotely. Have your days off, travel around.
Well, thanks for tuning in this week. We hope you guys enjoyed our adventure all the way from Europe down here to Cape Town. I hope you enjoyed the cute penguins. We'll be here for a little while, so we'll have a couple more episodes than we normally do in our stays. Um, but yeah, next week we'll show you around the Cape Town city center and um, bring you along for our rest of our Cape Town adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Bye. Bye.